Ever wonder how safe your personal information truly is? In the digital age, identity theft has become an increasingly prevalent threat. It's not just about stolen credit card numbers anymore. Your entire life, from your social security number to your medical records, can fall into the wrong hands. Grasping the seriousness of this issue is paramount. It's like a silent epidemic creeping into our lives without a sound. In this video, we will walk you through the process of identity theft, step by step. First off, what exactly is identity theft? It's a term you've likely heard, but let's break it down. Identity theft is an act where one person unlawfully obtains and uses another's personal data in a way that involves fraud or deception. Typically for economic gain, this crime can take on many forms. For example, there's financial identity theft, where someone might use your credit card details to make unauthorized purchases. Then there's criminal identity theft, where an individual might assume your identity when confronted by law enforcement. Not to forget medical identity theft, where your health insurance details are used to claim fraudulent medical expenses. Identity theft isn't just about stealing money. It can also be used to deceive others, tarnish your reputation, or even to evade the law. The motivations behind identity theft are as diverse as the methods used to carry them out. Now that we understand what identity theft is, let's delve into how it actually works. Identity theft might seem complex, but it's actually a series of steps. It starts with information gathering. Identity thieves are like detectives, but with malicious intent. They collect personal information such as your name, address, social security number, and more. This information can be gathered in various ways from cyber attacks on databases to phishing scams, where thieves trick individuals into revealing their personal data. The second step is a bit more technical, data processing. The gathered information is sorted, analyzed, and often sold on the dark web. This is a hidden part of the internet where illegal activities, including identity theft, frequently take place. Thirdly, we have the actual theft. This is where the thief uses the stolen identity to commit fraud. They could apply for credit cards, take out loans, or even file fraudulent tax returns in your name. The possibilities are as vast as they are terrifying. Now let's talk about the methods. Phishing, as mentioned earlier, is a popular tactic. Here, thieves pose as legitimate companies or authorities, tricking victims into providing sensitive information. Then we have hacking, where thieves exploit security weaknesses in systems to steal data. They could hack into your computer, mobile device, or even an organization's database where your information is stored. Lastly, there's dumpster diving. Yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. Thieves rummage through trash looking for discarded documents that contain personal information. It's less sophisticated, but unfortunately, still effective. To sum up, the process of identity theft involves information gathering, data processing, and the actual theft. The methods used are diverse, ranging from sophisticated hacking to simple dumpster diving. Remember, these thieves are constantly evolving their tactics. They're creative, persistent, and always on the lookout for the next opportunity. Understanding this process is key to protecting yourself from becoming a victim. But what happens after your identity is stolen? Imagine waking up one day to find out that you've been robbed. Not your house, not your car, but something far more personal, your identity. The immediate impacts can be devastating. There's the financial loss, fraudulent charges on your credit cards, unauthorized withdrawals from your bank accounts, or even loans taken out in your name. But the damage doesn't stop there. It seeps into your credit score, a vital lifeline in today's world with a tarnished credit score. Your dreams of owning a house, starting a business, or even getting a new credit card could be shattered. And then there's the potential for criminal charges. If your identity has been used to commit crimes, you could find yourself in a legal nightmare, trying to prove your innocence. But perhaps the most insidious impact of identity theft is the emotional toll it takes. The feeling of violation, the constant anxiety about your financial security, the fear of not knowing who has your personal information and what they might do with it. Identity theft isn't just about money. It's about your life, your dreams, your peace of mind. It can take years, even decades, to fully recover from the damage. The consequences of identity theft can be severe and long-lasting. And that's why understanding and preventing identity theft is so crucial. Now that you understand the threat, how can you protect yourself? Well, there are several practical steps you can take to safeguard your identity. First, be vigilant with your financial records. Regularly review your bank statements and credit reports for any suspicious activity.
This is a primary way identity thieves can use your information, so it's crucial to spot any discrepancies fast. Next, the importance of strong passwords cannot be overstated. A strong password is like a sturdy lock on your digital front door. Make your passwords complex, unique, and change them regularly. Avoid obvious choices like birthdays or pet names, and consider using a password manager to keep track of them all. In addition, be cautious of suspicious emails or messages. Phishing scams are a common way for thieves to trick you into giving away your information. If an email seems fishy, it probably is. Don't click on any links or download attachments from unknown senders. Furthermore, consider investing in a good quality antivirus and firewall software. This can add an extra layer of protection against malicious software that could potentially harvest your personal information. Finally, be mindful of the information you share online. Social media platforms can be a goldmine for identity thieves. So, think twice before posting sensitive information like your full name, address, or date of birth. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. By taking these steps, you can greatly reduce your risk of falling victim to identity theft. So, to recap, we've journeyed through the murky world of identity theft, understanding its insidious nature and the profound impact it can have on individuals. We've unraveled the step-by-step -step process, emphasizing the importance of understanding this threat. Most importantly, we've explored ways to protect ourselves, fortifying our digital presence against these unseen adversaries. Stay safe out there and remember, your identity is your most valuable asset. Protect it.